guys, how are y'all? Um, I have my phone flipped over um, for a clearer picture because I think it just gives a better picture this way. Uh, so I'm coming all HD to y'all. Wrinkles, gray hair, little sad tendrils and all. But how are y'all? I hope y'all are awesome. I am better. I have had a very um, strange couple of weeks. Uh, it's been a while, about two weeks, two weeks and some days since I came on here to talk with you guys. So I'm letting y'all know right now, this is going to be a long one. I've been Dollar Tree. I've been 99 cent only ing. I have been thrifting. And uh, I got a lot to show you guys. Um, for the last two weeks, um, I've been in a pretty good place until Sunday uh, but let me let me let me put this out there to you guys only because we're all YouTube family and a lot of us have had the opportunity to experience what I experienced two Saturdays ago or as a YouTuber or as a watcher of YouTube you come across people that you really really connect with that you really really like and that you would love to meet I feel that way about a lot of you guys and a lot of you guys have told me the same thing and it's amazing how you can Get this connection with people that you've never physically met uh, and I have that connection with a lot of you guys and two particular ladies that I have been sub to for quite some time I had the opportunity to meet last not this past Saturday last Saturday uh, Miss uh, Gastric Rose and Quilting Connie B identical twins and if any of you um, know who I'm talking about, then you know these ladies are salt of the earth. They are so friggin' sweet. I could go on and on about these ladies, uh, but they're awesome. And if you guys watch them, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, Rosemary came into town for her daughter's wedding. I hope you don't mind me saying. Um, and Connie lives not too far from me. And we had been chatting back and forth, Rosemary and I, on Facebook. And we decided that when she came to town, we would meet well she was here and I got to meet both of them and if there are going to be two people identical thank goodness they're both awesome people <sighs> they were just so so sweet I felt like I was part of the family I kid you not we connected just really easily and I come on here and I'm goofy and I'm pretty outspoken and I can talk to you guys through here but honestly in real life, I'm a little shy, um, but I didn't feel that way with them. I felt like family was visiting, like I was visiting family. And let me tell you something about that. I could go on and on about how happy and geeked out I was, but we had a nice visit and we had some awesome uh, crustless um, sweet potato pie and just good conversation. And it, it was a really nice afternoon. And when little dude and I left, let me tell you how I know these ladies are cream of the crop. They didn't walk inside until I drove off. Who does that? Mothers, grandmothers, sisters, family does that. Y'all know what I'm talking about? How many of you guys have these really big families and you go visit them? And it's like you don't want to leave. It's like y'all carry the conversation outside and y'all are trying to say goodbye and y'all keep conversating outside in the, in the, in the, on the sidewalk and then trying to get in the car and that's for how family acts and I was very very happy to have met them and they were so sweet and but what got me all in the fields because I'm very tender and sensitive anyway what got me all in the fields was the fact that they didn't walk in to the house until we drove off and that was just very sweet that that's the kind of people that I have been so blessed to meet through YouTube and there's so many of you guys that that I consider my friends, whether we're just um, IMing on Facebook or chatting on Facebook or we're now texting, I truly honestly consider a lot of you guys my friends. And I just wanted to put out there that you never know how close uh, some of your fellow YouTubers are to you because I was surprised uh, that we were able to connect. But it was awesome. So, hi, ladies. <laughs> Okay, <sighs> on to 
the stuff that I have picked up since then. Um, I am going to start off with the Dollar Tree for my D tiers who want to see the Dollar Tree and move on. Excuse me, I'm thirsty. I haven't been feeling too good the last few days. Uh, speaking of, oops, I dropped you. Sorry, I'm not used to the phone being up this way. What was I saying? Oh, I was saying that I hadn't been feeling well. I felt, I started to feel bad Sunday and was to the dogs yesterday. I stay home actually, I didn't go to work. I didn't get up until about eight o'clock and that was just to do the little uh, project for little dudes uh, second grade class y'all saw it if you haven't seen it um, it's a little video I posted up and it was a totally impromptu video I hadn't planned it I just thought it would be interesting so I put it on there so yeah I didn't do my hola guys or anything like that but um what was I, I have not been feeling well I feel better today and I decided let me show you guys everything I picked up dollar trip okay I've been to Dollar Tree quite a few times in the past few weeks, apparently. I got these snack bags. And the only reason I got them is because they're uh, portion packed. Oh gosh, I really don't know what I'm doing here. Do y'all see how, how um, they have measuring lines on them? I thought that was really cool. They're snack bags with... Uh, Measuring markings of a cup, quarter cup, half cup, three-fourth cup, three-quarters of a cup, three-fourths cup. I don't know. But I just thought that was neat. I hadn't noticed that before. I grabbed Foods We Love burgers because I am able to eat lots of protein. And this burger one has really interesting uh, recipes in it. You have turkey, you have chicken, you have salmon, you have tuna. All kinds of spicy black bean burger. I don't like black beans. Usually, I think they taste like dirt. Or they taste like soil smells. But they have a spicy black bean burger that looks like something I want to try. So, most of the time, I don't eat it on a bun or I'll eat half a bun. But the meat itself, I'm turning into the world's biggest carnivore. And I didn't used to be. But grab that. I grabbed an eye mask with these little jelly beads uh, because my eye has been twitching. I think I may have told you guys with the whole... I, I don't know if it's anxiety or what, but my eyes have been twitching like crazy. And I thought anything that can help relax the area has to be good. Plus, I like the color and I like the way it feels. It's so squishing. So I grabbed one of those. I found Paloxing, Best Self Fitness Paloxing. It's Pilates and Boxing Mixed. Uh, I hope this chick doesn't kill me. But my motivation to start working out, and goodness gracious, it is so hard for me to get motivated. My motivation to work out is my son going off to boot camp. When he goes off to boot camp, I'm going to start to work out. Because when he comes back for Christmas, I'm going to be, oh, I'm going to be so buff. He's not even going to recognize me. Uh, but I got Paloxing. I never even heard of it. And then I picked up The Architect. Anthony LaPaglia. La Viola Davis. I love her. Isabella Rossellini. Anthony LaPaglia stars with Viola Davis and Isabella Rossellini in a harrowing and ultimately human story of two very different families. Leo Waters is an idealistic architect and patriarch of an affluent suburban Chicago family living with his troubled wife, Rossellini. Blossoming daughter Hayden Panettiere and conflicted son Sebastian Stan. Tanya Neely Davis is a pragmatic activist who is trying to keep her family together while living in one of the city's most drug and crime infested housing projects. As part of her ongoing campaign to have the projects torn down and decent housing built in its place, Tanya decides that the one signature she needs more than any other on her petition is that of the project's original architect, Leo Waters. This sounds like something right up my hood alley, okay? I grew up in the hood. I know all about that. So, it just sounded like something I would really like. I finally found more of the dry scalp uh, shampoo for my big dude. Uh, he went ahead and bit the bullet and cut off all his hair and revealed his little dry scalp. Y'all have heard me say a whole bunch, we're flaky, okay? We're like biscuit flaky. We, we're ashy, we're flaky, we're, 
we're dry individuals. So I don't want him walking around like he has frosted flakes on his head. Plus, I don't want him to be uncomfortable because he's going to be sweating a lot in boot camp. So I'm hoping if he can't take this with him, he can use it. And he really liked it. I just couldn't find it at my DT's. This was at a DT eh, a little further away from me. Probably should have got more. I, yeah, I grabbed this little bag because I had a, a need for it. And now I can't remember what the need was. But I loved the shoes. I'm a shoe girl. Thought it was adorable. I got little dude another pair of the Jurassic socks. So cute. I got another one of these bottle brushes because I use them to clean out uh, my skinny vases. I can get all up in there and get all the little slimy stuff that lines my vases. So grab one of those and a SpongeBob. Little dude picked that out because it's SpongeBob. I was out of my eyeliner, and I really like the, this one, the uh, LA Colors little twist-up pencil one. I really like it. I have to set it with a little bit of um, powder, um, dark eyeshadow, just because it tends to smear a little, but that's okay. And then I found a nail polish corrector pen, which I thought was an awesome idea, because I can't stand whenever I do paint my fingernails. It's been a while having to dig out the nail polish remover and the q-tips to clean up the mess I've made around my cuticles. So the Sassy and Chic Nail Polish Corrector Pen. thought that was awesome. And then for some reason I am mascara crazy. And honestly the only reason I got this one I'm about to show you is because it was purple. It's LA Colors Big Full Lash. Can y'all see? and the LA Colors Curve Wowie Lash. So grab those. I had these before and I used them all up. So when I saw they put them back out, I went ahead and grabbed the lemon and the apple. I had a strawberry one and I can't find the strawberry one at my Dollar Trees, but I, I kept the empty containers because they're adorable. Uh, Osball plays with um, one of them. He rolls around. He rolls them around. But grab those little lip balms. I mean, they're not especially moisturizing, but they're cute and they taste good. So, hmm. I grabbed some Tylenol because that day, this was last week, I'm not sure. Uh, I had a headache of the devil and I could not find the Aleve that I usually carry in my purse. So, I grabbed that and I haven't opened it because I came home and found my Aleve. Got little dude his Halloween bouquet. The Halloween bouquet bouquet. Um, in a skull. I grabbed another one of these mattress covers. These are so thin and flimsy, guys. And I tend to toss around a lot in bed, so they shred up pretty easy. But I absolutely need these because we are bed snackers. And I know that's a horrible thing to do, but yeah, we carry our whatever and drinks to bed and sometimes we don't position them correctly and they'll tip so I get these to spare my mattresses they're not even a year old I got runner I don't know if I have it I remember wanting it and then deciding no not really because Nicolas Cage is one of those actors for me personally who can grate my nerves like cheese I either love him or I just want to pluck my eyeballs out of my head. And I think I wanted to try Runner, but just hadn't bit the bullet, so I went ahead and bit the bullet. Oh, goodness gracious. This is two weeks old. This was for my oldest. I shall give that to him. No, really, it was for my oldest. Y'all know I can't eat that stuff? And then I found these awesome little t-shirts for Little Dude for a buck. Little black t-shirts. And this awesome green. I love this green. What is this? Kelly green? I love this shade of green. So lovely. And I'm getting him stuff like this for karate. Because uh, he needs to be able to move. Um, I bought a whole bunch of candy for my co-workers. Finally, I don't know why this is so hard to find. 
it's not gold, but ah, I found the super bubble, but only after I had to buy the double bubble at another Dollar Tree. I don't like this one. It's really, really hard. It makes my jaw hurt. Flavor's not good, but they love gum at work, and that's who I get it for. So I grabbed these, and then I went to another Dollar Tree and found the good one, so they're going to get both. And then the rest is just the regular hard candy I picked up for them. Uh, Lifesavers and my tried and true the uh, assorted fruit hard candy. So I will definitely give those to them tomorrow. Then the only other thing, and this was at a Dollar Tree that I rarely go to because honestly I forget it's there. It's a little further out than I'm usually. Um, but um, I found this drain rooter and these are always awesome to have. Long hair. The drains eat it up. So it's good to have. But I geeked out when I saw these. Oh, I can't pause with the camera position this way so forgive the crinkling. But I need to show you guys this stuff. <sighs> Zach Brand mugs. You see Woodstock? Do not disturb. So cute. Okay, that's one. Superman. And I got this for my cousin because she is a Superman freak. I can't tell where you guys are. She's a Superman fanatic, and I got that for her. This is Zach Brand. This little minion says, I need coffee. So cute. Oh, goodness. I'm out of room. I told you guys there was a lot of stuff. So bear with me. We're going to be here a while. Another little mignon it's a little mignon and it says just the right amount of wrong just the right amount of wrong so cute and Lulu loves minions oh goodness what did I do and then this last one is the first one that I saw and I had to have it and I think I saw these at Target honestly I think I saw these at Target a few weeks ago is Snoopy typing away? I made 120 decisions today, all of them wrong. <laughs> so cute. Okay. There's something else at the bottom of this bag. Oh, oh, um, I yes, I remember. Light beige frost. This is my go-to lipstick. I've been wearing it for years and years and years. I always have it in my purse. Every purse I own probably has one in there. Um, and I keep uh, a stash of... I don't know if y'all can see him. He likes to wear the bag. He's putting his head through the hole in the bag. Ozzy, that little dude. But um, my tried and true. This color, oh goodness. Love this color. Best color ever. I got to keep that stashed. If they ever stop making this, I'm going to freak out. Okay. That is everything from the Dollar Tree. So for my D-tiers, if y'all want to pause, if y'all want to stop the video, thanks for watching. We're moving on to 99 cent only. 99 cent only. Oh my gosh. You guys, I go in there for produce and I go in there to see what um, name brand food things they have and it never fails. I walk in and see stuff like this. Now, I walked in on a Saturday early, and they were stocked to the gills. The shelves were so stocked with so many nice housewares. And I was told, and some of you guys might know, I didn't know, their delivery days are Saturday and Tuesdays. So I scored this. I don't know where my obsession with love or hearts came from, but that's the majority of what my office is decorated in and I know I've said it before if you guys have watched me at all my co-workers are actually the ones that pointed that out I didn't know I was gravitating towards that but apparently hearts and the word love grab me so it was only $1.99 I wanted it so I grabbed it and I got two of them one for my co-worker 
because she liked one similar to that that I picked up last year around Valentine's Day and they never restocked them. So I went ahead and got her that one hoping it'll do. Found these for $1.99. Do y'all see what's going on back here? Do y'all see the shenanigans? Two little uh, metal sconces uh, with a glass of odives. Um, adorable for $1.99. I grabbed two of them because I have an idea of something I want to do in my son's bedroom. Once he's gone, I'm going to go in there and um, I'm not going to change it because it's still home and it's still his room. I'm just going to adultify it a little bit. Just a little. So I'm going to use that. Um, in his bedroom. Okay. That day, I walked in and they had a bunch of name brand well, you'll see what I'm talking about. Makeup. R99 Cent Only usually has Aziza makeup and color mates. That's usually all that they have. And a lot of you guys will be hauling L'Oreal and Wet n Wild and Milani. And sometimes you guys haul Maybelline at your 99 cent only. And I'm like, how does this happen? That hardly ever happens. I don't think I've ever seen it at my 99 cent only. But I walked in and they had this bin full of boxes of stuff. So, of course, I had to get pearlescent pink blush. So pretty. This is Wet n Wild. And I know we can get Wet n Wild at Dollar Tree and, and, and places like that. But like I said, 99 cent only. That's not the norm. Uh, I got the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette in these purples. And okay guys, I had to flip y'all around. Because the other way was making me go cross-eyed. And then I had this strange little message pop up. <laughs> I had this strange little message pop up on my screen, so I am trying desperately to get through this video because wouldn't you know it, I'm having all these technical difficulties when I have such a huge haul. <sighs> Goodness gracious. See, now we're back to yellow. Y'all see the difference? I just couldn't see. I couldn't see the other way. And I have a lot of stuff to show you. Okay, back to the palette. I found this purple palette. No, I'm not going to go back to the 80s and do purple all over. But there's some nice colors that I like to play with. And I like to play with purples and natural tones. I think that looks nice. So, grab that old duty. See what happens when I don't make videos every week? I get confused and discombobulated. Back to the 99 cent only makeup haul that I've been trying to show you. I found this Wear Infinite Turntable Eyes by L'Oreal. These are about a year old. Um, I remember finding them at Big Lots and Dollar Tree maybe, but I loved this particular one so I got really happy that I could find it. Maybelline. Um, Plumberry Collection Blush. Really like them. I just take my brush and just all of them and blend. Because if you try and use each one, it, it's just, it's crazy. I found a Wet n Wild Natural Blend Lip Shimmer in this pretty kind of burgundy brown. I got what I thought was my tried and true lip color. I got what I thought was my light beige frost. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, this was the one. Um, that's the one I picked up at Dollar Tree. I got this one because it's so pretty and red. And winter's coming and I like these berry ones. I did accidentally pick up the dark berry frost. It's here somewhere. Uh, thinking it was a light berry frost, which is the one I told you guys is my go-to. But I forgot. I picked up this one. It's really nice red. And I don't like the way red looks on me. It takes a very particular red. 
for me to be like, ooh, and that's one of them. And the Hip Studio Secrets Professional Eyeshadow in this, um, these brown tones, because I'm all about that. And the Color Molten Eye Studio, just a lighter shade from these, and some black. And this is what I set my eyeliner in, any type of uh, black or dark, dark uh, brown shadow is what I set my eyeliner pencil in. It's a lot of stuff, guys, I know. I grabbed another one of these. This is the uh, Riri inspired uh, little dupe in one of these little bubble bottles. I love these. They last so long, guys. They're, it's a nice, they're nice. I don't know what the real Riri smells like, but I like all of them so far. And they last, they're not going to last all day, but they last long enough time, a little extra spoosh, spoosh, and you're good to go. I finally found these. I saw you guys hauling the heck out of these um, little oven mitts from Dollar Tree last year sometime or early in the year. And I could never find them at my Dollar Tree. And now they have them at 99 cent only. I've gotten silicone ones, but just the, the little rectangle ones, the little square ones, I'm sorry. But these are the little finger mitts. So I grabbed two of them. I was so happy about that. I'm easy to please. I really am. found this thing, and I thought this was interesting. Now, I got a selfie doohickey at Dollar Tree. That works just fine, but it's wired. This is a selfie wireless shutter button, and it's supposed to work with my phone. I thought it was so cool for 99 cents. And they have a whole bunch of colors, but I went ahead and just did the black. So it's going to be interesting to see if it works. It says it's compatible with my phone. I don't know how you set it up or hook it up, and I'm not techie, so I may not figure it out. But I thought that was cool, so I grabbed that. And then these were adorable. There are these little metal coin purses. See? They zip and you have two little metal um, lids that become your coin purse. Well, why don't I just show you? I think I like this angle better. See? Isn't that cute? Um, I got this one with... Um, the little lady in front of the tower just looking so beautiful and then this one just of the tower I thought they were so pretty and for a buck these are going to be stocking stuffers I'm thinking this is going to be a stocking stuffer I'm not sure but this is the cute little things that I can't resist do I need them no but I have to have them I grabbed two of these and no they are not for me I was telling one of my friends about these. Uh, she likes Russell Stover's the candies in the little bag. And these, before my diagnosis, were my absolute favorite. They're the marshmallow and caramel. And I told her about them, and she had never seen them at her 99 cent only. So I grabbed her two bags of those to see if she likes them. And this was on another day, so... I went back to the makeup <laughs> and found this Milani, this gorgeous baked Milani eyeshadow. Oh, I love these colors. Love them. Here it is. This is the dark pink frost. I got the dark pink frost thinking it was the light pink frost. Oh gosh, the light is horrible. Anyway, it's still a very pretty color, but it's not my tried and true. But for a book. I found this unstoppable smudge proof waterproof eyeliner in gold aura. Yes, gold. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe the inside of my, you know, the eye, the corner. I'm not sure, but it was just so different, so neat. Thought it'd be pretty. I couldn't resist this. I went straight back to high school with this bubblegum pink. Let me tell y'all what I used to do. I may do it just to freak myself out. I used to line my lip in red lip liner, bright red, and fill in with this color pink. It's very tawdry. But I thought it looked pretty at the time. And 
And then I found some Diamond Strength Sally Hansen nail color, all at the 99 cent only. And this, I'm telling you guys, I am all about these natural tones. I love this stuff. If you were to go through my closet, if you go through my shoes, if you were to go through my makeup, you're going to see a lot of natural tones. It's just, it's just what I'm into. I found Little Dude the piece de resistance for his Halloween costume. And every year I struggle because we're only a few years in celebrating Halloween. Um, I still struggle with what he's going to be, but as creepy as this looks, this little boy is fascinated with the fact that we have bones under our skin. I mean, this is his new obsession. We have bones here, here, here. He's, he's, he's like, wow, he, he's very, very impressed that we have a skeleton under us. So I got him this. It's big. I'm going to have to tighten the back because his little face is just he can see and he can breathe but it's too big for his head maybe I can find a smaller one I'm not sure but for now and Halloween being Monday that's what we're working with uh, I'm almost done with the 99 cent only guys I picked this up it's a studio art fashion journal I don't want to take it off because this is actually for one of my friends. I fell in love with it. It says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. I looked at it because it was purple. That's what got my attention. But then, leave a little sparkle. And my phone's doing something funny. Um, I had to get it for her, I think. Cut off here. I have three minutes left. I picked up two little uh, construction pads for little dude because we're getting all crafty and it just helps with a lot of his homework and that type of stuff if I can visually make little things plus it's fun so I grabbed two of them with little construction pads and then the last thing that I'm going to be able to show you because it's going to shut me off um, are these bad boys I told you guys I want to tweak up my oldest room for when he comes back. It'll be a little more adult, a little more grown. And I, oh, sorry guys, the glare. Look at all this mess. This is, <laughs> this is what it looks like from where I'm sitting. It's these mirrors. I don't want to blind y'all. See my setup? You see how I have y'all set up on the, on, the, on the candle holder? There ain't nothing fancy here, people. Nothing at all. Uh... But it's this mirror, $1.99. I got four of them. I'm going to do some kind of wall thing with them. I got four of them. But my phone is acting wonky. It's already fallen. I'm going to have to edit all kinds of craziness with this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off. And I'll make another video with my thrift purchases. I got some freebies that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, but it looks like I'm going to have to make another video because I have less than two minutes now. But till my next go round. <laughs> oh my, he's cranky. It was parent conference day. Not parent conference in the bad sense, just uh, to see how he's doing. And he's been doing very, very well. I think he's just tired. But anywho, till my next go round. Thanks you guys for watching. And I'll be back with a thrift haul right after this one. So hope you guys have an awesome week. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>